Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about buying online, uh, buying online versus your store. And a lot of you know that I've been pretty, uh, pretty based on, you know, pretty adamant that you should buy from your local store. But let me specify what I mean. I did get this box of Rise of Dodrazi, which I played during grad school, and we were able to crack it. Actually, not during grad school. I think it was senior, it was senior year of college first year of grad school and I bought it online. I'll be honest, you can get most of the things online, shipping included, you have to, a lot of places just offer free shipping, so shipping is not really a factor, but sometimes you do have to add shipping in as a cost. Um, and you can get delivered super fast, but here's the deal. If you have a local game store that you love, that you, play, you personally play at, you should support that local game store. Is that's the only way they make money. That's the only way that they can provide you, you know, electricity, food, you know, all this stuff is really important because they have to make margins. Owning a store versus owning a retail store, a physical store versus an online store, there's so many more overhead issues than a totally digital store. And that's why prices are more expensive. Now, there's no question online prices are cheaper because you can shop anywhere you want. There will always be a store who is willing to sell something cheaper than your local store. Now, if your local store is very good, you like the community, and you want it to keep and continue growing, you can support it. If your local store is not good and treats customers poorly, just buy online. Like, that is my philosophy. If my store is good and I like it, I will buy from my store even if it costs me more money. But the store is bad, like the current store I'm, I used to go to, and the customers are yelled at, they're, it's, everyone's abrasive, the community is not growing, and it's just not a great, it's not a good time. If I'm gonna travel somewhere on my Friday, I expect to have relatively a good time going there, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't go there. You have so many more options, so many options of what you can do Friday night, instead of just going to a store and it yells at you. You can buy the stuff online, you can ship it to your home two days later uh, on Amazon Prime or whatever shipping, and then you can get a group of friends and you can draft all these sets. You can draft Caldez, you can draft any of the new sets as well. You can buy fat packs, I don't know if you can see the fat packs up here. You can buy you know, tournament packs, you can buy whatever you want online cheaper, have it host an event in your home, have some beer, have, my friends bring beer and food and all that stuff and I provide the box. Uh, and the food is very good. We had Thai food the other night um, and fantastic event. You just, good food, good people, because again, you're not inviting that douche bag, right? You have a close knit group of friends and if that one of the friends is acting up or being an asshole, you cannot invite him to the next event. So everyone is well behaved and really fun to be with or be around. Uh, we always have six people show up at a, a, our events. Uh, we'll, we'll have you know, good food, good drinks, and just a fun, fun time. Would I buy it from a store for, let's say, $100 a box when I could get it online for $80? Not if I'm the one hosting the event. If I'm hosting the event, I will buy the box directly online because it's cheaper, it's more convenient, and a lot of times with these stores, like TCG Player uses their weight for the kickback. They're giving like 5% kickback during Christmas holidays. And they give a lot of kickbacks. If you buy enough from a store, like uh, David Adams gives rewards and all this like free play mats and everything that you can imagine, you get extra because they want to keep you as a customer. They like you, they give you uh, $5 coupons every so often. If you have a good store, Support it. If you have a bad store, do not support it. Buy online. Because unless that store becomes good, there's no reason you should spend extra money, hard earned money, to support something that is a bad situation. Now, a lot of you will say, oh, why don't you just drive? When you're hosting an event at home, you have control over the food, control over the alcohol, control over the drinks, control over you know, the situation and control over who's invited and who's not invited. That's a different scenario than traveling to a store that you like. 
traveling the store you like, you don't have no idea who you're going to meet. You have no idea what that type of decks they have. And that's fun too, but only a good store. So if your store is bad and treating you poorly, just buy online. You are the customer and you have every right to get the cheapest price available, especially for singles. The, every store is limited in how many singles they can carry and limited in what or has preference over what they can sell the singles for. Um, sometimes they will sell for Star City Games price, but remember Star City Games has way more inventory and you can make an entire ED8 stack, whatever it is, pretty much on the website. While you have to pick and choose and wait for them to come in at a local game store. So I don't want to boohoo local game stores, but local game store is you know, dirty, it is. it does not have air conditioning when it's 100 degrees, which Bunker, Battle Bunker didn't have air conditioning, they had fans, and no wonder it went under. And the people the service was poor, the sportsmanship was poor, and everything was poor. Just order a box, invite some friends if you if you have them, and draft. And that's the perfect night to me for me, for Magic the Gathering at least. Anyway, bye guys.